Hi everyone and uh, welcome to another video about good notes and especially my Digibujo, the digital bullet journal for the iPad. So here we are in my Etsy studio, Etsy shop and there's the product right there, the bullet journal, the Digibujo. So if you click on that product, I'll leave a link in the description so you can find it there. Add to cart. So many people have asked me how to then upload the files, get it into GoodNote and get it going and I want to cover a lot of those things over the next few videos but let's just start with the basics and I'll show you how it all works. So when you buy it, Etsy will send you the links. This is the back end of my shop so I can't really show you what you're going to see but you will get the .png files and the .pdf files. So the first two are the cover images and the next one obviously is the Digibujo, the one that you want. So if you want to start with just um, uploading, saving the covers, just click on the link for one at a time for the covers. And once that's finished uploading, um, all you need to do is long press on the image and let go, let your finger take your finger off the screen and click save image. That will now save it to your iPad camera roll. Easy, okay. So let's set it up in GoodNotes. I have GoodNotes down the bottom of my screen so it's always available. Okay, if you look at the bottom right of your GoodNotes screen, you'll see options. So we'll click on that and we're going to click on template library. Now these are all covers that I've made myself so you're not going to see them there. So you can add them one at a time but to add a new cover image or a page image, I've actually done another video on that but um, I'll show you here now quickly. Edit, top right, you see that at the top right. Then the top left there's a plus symbol so click on that and then look down and you'll see photos and in your camera roll that's where you'll find your brand new one import it, okay done we'll leave that there for the time being and what we'll do is we will now go back and grab the uh, Digibujo itself so let me go back Right, back to your files that uh, should be in your Etsy account. There's the Digibujo PDF, so we'll click on that. And that will open up the PDF. Just wait a little while. Okay. You probably notice at the top of my screen it automatically came up saying open in GoodNotes and it disappeared. Now that might not appear for you, it might be open in something else. And if it does say something else at the top right of the screen, rather than open in GoodNotes, you look to the left of the screen, it says more. Now I'm clicking on the page on the screen to get that to come back onto my screen. So. If you um, don't see open in good notes on the right, click again if it disappears and click on more and then you will be able to open it in good notes. So I will open in good notes. Then when uh, it pops up, pick a category. So I've named different categories, but for this demonstration, I've actually created a new category called demonstration and you can see there in the pick a category at the top left of that part there's a plus symbol so to add a new category you just click on that plus symbol and create the category give it a name and you're done so for this one I'm going to say demonstration now that will open up I don't know why it's given me two but anyway that's okay we'll have one now let's open that and there it is okay that's your Digi Bujo. That's how it looks. Now the index is using hyperlinks. So the dashboard, that's the first page that you'll see. Uh, you can personalize that with anything you like, your name, whatever, whatever you like. Next page is the index page. Now 
if you have this tool that's highlighted in blue at the top of the screen selected, you'll be able to touch on any one of these numbers on the page. Click on it and it'll take you straight to the day that you're looking for or the, the page that you're looking for. So say I click on number 14. If you look at the bottom left there, it's page 14. Scrolling, scrolling. If you've done a page and you want to make note of it in your index, you just same thing, you have to have the tool that's highlighted blue there at the top of the screen selected. Click on the index and you go straight back to the index. So at that point, you would then write in, make sure that the pen tool is selected now and you can adjust size, you can customize colors, you can add hex code numbers. It's, I won't get into that right now, it's too much to think about. But say I've done something on that page 14, I am now pinching to zoom in and I will write whatever it is. There we go. So if I select that tool again, click on there, and it is pen page 14. There's undo button, we'll get rid of that. There's an eraser, I'll get rid of anything there. Done. Okay, now let's add a cover. So I'll make sure that that tool is selected again, and I'll click on the index and go back, scroll a page. Here's how to add the cover if you want to. You can add any cover you like, but you, you get two covers with the DigiBujo. So what I do is there's a plus symbol at the top left in the icons at the screen. So I'll click plus. I'll add page above. If you see that in the list, add page above. Click on that. And it might not necessarily come up immediately as covers, <clears throat> but mine did because I had covers open. So wherever you're keeping your covers, Scroll down to that brand new one. There it is. Now you have your cover. So you can you can write on that. You can type on that. There are so many thing, so many ways you can personalize that cover page. But it's all as simple as that. Now I keep quite a number of um, journals in my planners. There's one for stickers, and if you all the pages are different things that I keep to use in my planners, and my journals, index, and I've written down what they relate to there. So categories, in my uncategorized, I have a whole lot of different bullet journals. So you can create as many as you like. They, um, You get one purchase, you get a whole lot of different journals to use. So enjoy. I hope you enjoy it.